Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. It's still quite light on the front on this one, so I'm curious how he's going to cope with going up the hill, but I think we'll probably do alright. I think we will turn right just here. So I'm back doing a fresh recording, and there's been quite a few new mods turning up. We, we, we're getting a I really like the number of mods that we are getting. There's a, a large amount of mods turning up just about every single day. Some days you only get three or four of them, and other days you get upwards of 20 of them. But it, it seems to be there's a consistent quantity of mods turning up every single day, or at least every weekday, and I, I actually really like that. I think that's absolutely awesome. It shows that they are working quite hard to get through the mod list. Uh, this is what I was wondering about, whether or not we would actually be able to get up the hill with this weight on the back. What we might need to do is turn the vehicle round and go up backwards, certainly up the steep hill. The moment he's kind of struggling on through, but yeah, I reckon once we get to the bottom of the grass, we might end up needing to turn the tractor round and go up backwards just to be able to get up that last little bit. See in a minute. He's doing this bit. Keeps trying to change gear, that's the problem. If he didn't keep trying to change gear, it would work a lot easier, but um, I don't have my settings on that. I like to keep it on the automatic gears, and this is the only point where it actually becomes an issue with the automatic gears. Stuff like... Why did I just get a load of seed tip out onto the floor. It's come out of that. It's, it's come out of the, um, the bucket. It's just come out of that bucket. It hasn't come out of anywhere else. It's not dropped out of the seeder or anything. But yeah, I've, I've now got a, a load of seed dumped on the floor. I reckon that we're going to get a bit more seed fall on the floor. Is that um, pallet of seed that went missing? Hmm. Well, we'll just have to kind of go back and gather that up somehow, although we need a bucket to do that, and I, we haven't got a bucket up the top, have we? We'll figure something out. We, we will figure something out. It's, it's because it couldn't tip on the floor up there, and there's the rest of the seed has been tipped out down there. Let, let me just try that. No, it's just, it's just falling out through the forks anyway. Um... But, yeah, the, the rest of the seed is in the pile down there. <laughs> That's brilliant. So it disappeared into the bucket, but the bucket won't actually hold the seed, but it wouldn't fall onto the floor because we didn't own the land. And, I, I well, also because it was grass. That's just not going to happen, is it? So let's try this one going backwards now. Let's, let's do this. Right, well that does work. It's just gonna 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 be a bit slow getting up the hill. That's all. But yeah, we we got a load of seed. We got a thousand liters of seed. One pile dumped there, another pile dumped halfway up the hill. I mean, we don't own that land either, so I'm curious why it allowed us to dump it onto that bit, but not down at the dealership. I guess it's a bit more strict about what you can throw on the floor at the dealership than it is halfway up the mountain. This is going to take a while. <laughs> oh, this thing is absolutely brilliant. Look at that. That is fantastic. It's going to be interesting to see if that 1,000 litres of wheat that we've got in our seed drill is going to be enough to actually plant our field. Hopefully it will be, but I don't know for certain. Right, I'm going to... Actually, I was thinking that... Um, I would possibly go up the steep bit there, but I don't think we should. What we'll do is we'll go up here, kind of along the route that we were thinking of making for our track that we were going to build up here. Come up to there. And now I'll see if I can kind of go straight across the hill. Like that. Yeah, he's doing it. 
he's doing it not the easiest move but he's doing it there we go so we have made it to this part of the farm now we've got to do is get up to the top field and I don't you know what? I'm gonna take off the seed drill leave that one here for a minute because I want that front weight and now it started to rain that's just great uh, we're on August the 2nd. I don't want the seed drill on now anyway, so that bit will be fine. I want to have that one and lower it down and leave that one there. Uh, <laughs> that was a mistake. Uh, let's. It's a good job that the lime doesn't actually dissolve in the rain in this game because otherwise we'd be in trouble. So we want to just drop that one off there a second, like that. <laughs> This thing is brilliant. And we get our front weight on. Hopefully that will help us out quite a bit. How much is that front weight? Like, what's the weight of it? If I switch to the front weight and take that one off a minute, it's a one-ton front weight. You see with a little mod I've got down in the bottom right. So that one-ton front weight there. Oops. me line up a bit better with the fertilizer spreader. There we go. Hopefully that will help a bit. There. Have that front weight on there. I'm going to go. I'm just going to go. I'm going to floor it. Go as fast as I possibly can. I'll put the front loader arm down a little bit. I want to get up onto this platform where the invisible shed is. And then <laughs> out across here. It's at least it's going. And this is the important thing. It's it's doing it. Nobody has yet been injured. That's the important thing. Right, uh, let's lower that one down. We're gonna leave that one there for a minute because what we want to do is we want to use this bucket and we want to go and pick up any stones that are in this field. Now I know that there is at least a couple of stones. There's one right there. So we're going and then there's another one just up there. We can use the map actually to show us where these stones are. Alright, well that didn't work. Let me switch to the actual bucket. Uh, might be because I've got Actually, we need to take that front weight off. That's going to mess things up anyway. So uh, let's drop the front weight and we'll put that one on the back. And do this right. And then I'll have a look and see if there are any extra controls. Because this is supposed to... It's a stone fork. Although I don't... No, wait. Have I gone and bought this thing? Only to find out it doesn't actually pick them up off the field. That it's, in fact, only meant... Because it doesn't come under the stone pickers bit. In fact, it's only meant for picking stones up when they're already in a heap. That's going to be embarrassing. This beat basket also can switch on with the B button and thus collect stones from the field. Right, so I have bought the right one. That's okay. I just got to actually turn the machine on in order to collect stones. That's all. So it's, it's just got... It's, it's a function key on here. Yeah, that's all. So we drop that one down there, and then if we switch to the actual bucket itself and press B, so that one is in the on position, like that, and it has picked stones up. It's also leaving the ground behind in a cultivated state, but we're not going over the entire field cultivating it in order to have the stone picker working. So I've picked up those two bits. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom in on our meadow that we've got here, on our nice field. It's looking quite good now. And we don't want that bit. We want that bit rare. So the rest of the stones are down there. I've got the needs ploughing bit. Is some of that needs ploughing? Why has it still got... Oh. Those red bits with the needs ploughing. Do you know why they're like that? Do you know why we've got those as needs ploughing despite the fact that we've gone and ploughed everything up? reason is the um plow we didn't actually plow that bit that that little tiny bit wasn't plowed that bit was instead done with the stump grinder 
And although it does create fields and can be used like a plow, it doesn't remove the needs plowing state. So although we kind of like were able to use it for that, it's not removed the needs plowing. All right, let me bring that on round here. And up there. Hopefully we can keep going. So yeah, it hasn't removed the needs plowing, but because it's such a small amount, doesn't matter. We're not going to worry about it. All I want to worry about at the moment is gathering up these stones. We've got 38 litres of stone so far. Now, in the real world, you would use this on your farm for, like, going on the stone track, for you know, going into, putting it into tracks and stuff like that, for um, making it better for driving around. But this isn't the real world. Have I got any more? There's a couple more bits still. I don't know if it's ploughing bits or if it's actual stones look around a bit more I don't see any more that might be needs plowing spot I think that spot up there isn't a needs plowing spot I think that would be another bit of stone let's have a look where is it well there's a oh no that's that is a needs plowing spot there's a little tiny bit right there from the stone picker uh, not the stone picker from the stump grinder that is all of the stones that's it for stones in this field there are no more we've gathered them all up so real life won't allow us to see the little tiny bit of stone in there real life won't allow us that uh, real life that the game won't allow us to sort of imitate real life with the stones so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put them in heat down here right next to this tree i'm not going to do anything fancy with them i'm just going to dump them right there and then I'm going to leave this loader on. Let's turn off the actual stone picking function. And then we'll drop the front weight off. And we'll put that back onto the front. And then that's going to be ready for spreading the lime. Now I don't really want to do the lime spreading in the rain. The wheat we can't plant at the moment anyway. We've got to wait until... When do we need to wait until... Because we've got enough fertilizer. Like, we could possibly put a little bit of fertilizer down there, but I'm not actually going to worry about it. I'm going to leave it. Um, the majority of the field has got two coats of fertilizer on it, so I'm not overly concerned about our fertilizer issues. Uh, wheat planting is September and October, so we can leave it today, and we could do it tomorrow. There's rain forecast for tomorrow. So it's just after midnight is rain, and then it's sunshine, so probably be all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drive this tractor back down here just like this and i'll leave that front weight and stuff on and i'm going to actually let's just check the sheep and see what we've got in those if we need to do anything to them uh you've got about half full with grass on that one and this one is about the same so we could do with putting a bit of food in for the, we'll do that in the morning they can eat up some of the hay that they've got they've still they've still got half a rack full of hay so they're they're fine at the moment there's no issues there and oh the other thing we need to check is greenhouses now we don't actually have the money to go and get the water for the greenhouses but they're fine anyway so we don't need to worry about those either so i'm just going to park tractor here I know I'm leaving the loader arm up in the air it's hoofing it down with rain so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna sleep the night it's a beautiful sunny morning now there's rain forecast we have a look uh, but not until this afternoon so we've got rain forecast in the afternoon. I think that's actually going to be fine. I don't think that's going to be a problem. So let's have a walk up to see the sheep a minute. And they've got 900 litres of food, 1,200 litres of water. So water, I think, is probably all right. And we've got a nice bit of wool going on up here as well. We'll grab a couple bales of hay for each lot. So I'm going to chuck one lot down there. I'll put two bales of hay in for each pen of sheep. And chuck the second one. 
I've been getting some feedback from people about how long you think I should run the series and what I should try and do. Now, some of you have said that, yes, you do think that there should be some targets for the map. Uh, some of you said, like, 75 or 80 episodes on here maximum. Um, some of you have said that maybe it should be a maximum of, like, uh, seven years on the map. Uh, six, you know, six or seven years in before we say, nope, that's it, we have to stop. Um... Some of you are saying, no, you don't really think that this one should have a challenge. I should just complete the, the bit with the tailor and then move on. And we can have the extra... We should, one, have something set up. So I think I was gonna, said that I would have additional... Uh, well, have some loan on the next map. Did I, I guess one of the bales must have already fallen in here. No. I put two down here, didn't I? Am I missing a bale? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Um, some of you said that I should have, um, like, I, I said possibly, you know, we could have a penalty on the next map of, like, a, a penalty of an extra loan or something like that if I fail to make a target, but I also get a benefit if I do something good and I can have free landscaping. And some of you actually said, well, I should have the loan anyway, make it, you know, a bit of a challenge on the next map, have an expensive loan, and also have the free landscaping. So I'm, I'm getting a lot of sort of mixed reactions on this one, so I'm going to give it a bit of thought, and I think this is going to be one of those cases where, uh, yeah, feel free to continue making your point one way or the other, but I'll kind of just make my own mind up on this one and run with it. But at the moment, I think we will just stick with this map until I've achieved the goal of having a tailor and we've produced some clothing. And then we will move on and we, we we'll just kind of leave it at that. Um, I see absolutely no harm with doing it like that. I think that could work out quite well. Now, I'm going to leave the front loader on the tractor for doing this bit of work because I feel that if we don't... We could end up being a little bit too heavy on the back end. At the moment, it's quite heavy on the nose. You can see the way that we're sort of dancing forward. And this is good. We do want some weight on the front. I'm wondering if maybe you ought to put stones back in the basket. And whether that would help us as well. But once we start doing the lime spreading, the lime will... The, the weight of the spreader will quite quickly diminish. So I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Because it does tend to run out pretty quickly. So let's go up and we'll start at the top. I don't know how wide this one was. Having a look here. Uh, 42 meters wide. Yeah, it's going to use this lime up pretty quickly. My main concern is that we don't have enough lime to do all of it. Now, we've got 4,000 liters. That may not be enough to do this whole field. So let's just get started here. And we'll have a good width of lime going across. You can see how far it goes. Oh. Yeah, I'm keeping right away from the edge there, but... Uh, it's actually not using it up anywhere near as fast as I thought it would. I thought it would use it faster than that. I guess this area of land that we've got that we're plowing up is actually fairly small. So it's it's not too much of an issue. Uh, but, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's still quite heavy on the nose there. You see that coming down. We've got some weeds coming up here where the trees were. See there, we've got a few weeds just poking their nose up. We may have to go and get a weeder of some kind to take care of those. That's not much of an issue, though. That, that, that's not difficult to go and do. It looks like our lime spreader is going to end up with quite a bit of lime left over. Like, we could possibly have done this field. Well, we could have done this entire field with one bag. Uh, one bag is all we needed. It's a bit of a struggle going up there. Okay, it didn't quite get that bit, and then there's a bit over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around here. One bag was 2,000 litres. Uh, spin around like that, and then I'm going to come back down here, and we're going to get this bit. Yeah, one bag would have been e easily have been enough to do this. I mean, we've got lime left over now that we can use for doing another field. If we want to. At least we do have that. Uh, we'll have to take it out of the spreader and put it somewhere else. 
Maybe just store it. I mean, for now, we could just leave it in the spreader. But, I mean, technically, we've got everything left outside. And lime is not the best thing to be leaving out to get damp. You don't want lime getting damp. I've never actually used lime in real life. I'm just kind of going on what I've been told by people uh, from previous videos. Apparently, you do not want to get lime damp. It, it's a bit of a pain. Um, so, like, really you wouldn't want a lot left over you'd maybe spread an extra coat on the field or something but we won't worry about that i know that we're playing realistically but we're not gonna like try and go overboard with it either uh so we will lower that one down there just leave the lime in the spreader we can we may need to empty it out and use that for getting fertilizer at a later date but we won't worry about it so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and drop that front weight there. And then I'm going to take the loader arm off now. And that's going to come over here like this. And we'll leave that one down here. So we got a sugar beet thing if we want to do sugar beet. Because, I mean, we were originally talking about doing sugar beet, weren't we? Like, that, that was one of the things that we were originally going to do. And... Yeah, I was doing root crops and everything on the last series that we were doing in FS19 on this map. But we still haven't done sugar beet. We did potatoes with the small equipment. That was really cool. I actually really like that small equipment as well. I thought it was really cool. Um, but we haven't done it on this map. Now, chances are we won't actually do it on this. Oh, no, I don't want that on the back. I want, I'm going to want that one on the front. To be honest, I'm probably not going to want that one at all. Uh, because I'll be using that little seed drill, so we don't want too much weight, but we'll wait and see. I've still got a couple of rare truffles to go and find, but I'm not going to do that yet. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get started on the cultivating. We've got our little cultivator here. I really like this one as well, this little spike harrow that we've got. This is perfect for the job. It's a shallow spike harrow. I, the tires on the tops of it is just a fantastic touch, and I, like it really pleases me that we've got that. I thought that was a really cool little thing to to see on it. So we're going to go this way round. I'm just going to lower it down and get stuck straight into this job. I'm going to drive this tractor around the edge of the field a couple of times, and then we will set the hired help going doing the rest of it now we've only got 412 euros and i would like to use hired help for doing a couple of jobs here so we may need to load a few bits up from the greenhouse take those if we can and that will get us a little bit of extra money now listening to people talk about the next series going to no man's land or possibly to i think it's calm lands is the other one uh, something like that they're not uh, exclusively a forestry map, so they're not sort of covered in trees, but there's still trees there. And a lot of comments coming in that you really like this idea because what it's going to do is it's going to leave the game open, uh, leave us open for having trees there that we can go and take down if we want to. We can go and chop down the trees and sort of use them for a bit of extra bank because we're not going to have the collectibles to go and get, the rare truffles. But at the same time, we're not going to be doing the level of forestry that we were doing in the hardcore series on Boulder Canyon, which did get a bit much. Um, so it's, we, should be able, we should be able to achieve a bit of a happy medium with that. And I quite like this. I, I quite like this idea. I think this is quite good. Um, We'll see how it plays out. I'm hoping that that would work quite well. And I haven't decided which map we'll do yet. It'll be Calm Lands or No Man's Land, I suspect. But uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm getting comments from people. You, know, you, you seem to want... It's fairly even split between the two of them. Um, I'm quite happy with that. And I'll, I'll just kind of look at them closer to the time when we want to make the switch. And we'll decide how things go then but for now we don't need to worry about that we're focusing on this so we need to be building our sheep up now we've got sheep in the pens and we've got wool being produced but what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start getting more wool being produced or, well not necessarily lots more wool being produced we're going to be wanting to get 
more money coming in. We need that money coming in. Now, egg production is something that several of you said you wanted, which is why we're doing this right here. We're planting wheat in this field, which is then going to result in us having food for chickens. And then we can go and get the chickens, and we can get started with that. Now, there is actually a mod, an animal transport mod, that allows the transportation of chickens. So I'm curious if you think that I should get that one and go and collect our own chickens or if you think I should um, just have the chickens delivered. I'm thinking probably just have them delivered depending on the quantities because of the amount of money that it would cost to buy the uh, transport trailer. We'll have a look at it in a minute. We'll finish going around the field here and then when we finish going around the field then we can have a look at how much that transport trailer is going to cost and whether or not doing it that way would be a viable option for us. I think it probably will. I'm guessing I'm guessing it would probably be alright working like that. Now I want to try and keep this in a straight line up this bit so that when the hired help starts it will be able to do the full length of the field without any trouble. I've kind of got to take into account the way the hired help behaves and then usually you don't end up with major problems. It should be alright down through there. Sometimes it will leave like the, those bits of gaps and well I, I know that it leaves those bits of gaps and I'm actually alright with that. I'm going to... I will complete two full circuits so that we've got this bit up here as well. And then I can have this little tractor going backwards and forwards. I really... I, I do like this cultivator though. This little harrows that we've got. This, this is really good. I like this a lot. Okay, we'll pick that up. And yes, I am very well aware that I don't need to cultivate before I go planting with the seed drill over there. We could just leave it, but in real life, if you've plowed, you would cultivate before you went in with the seed drill, especially the seed drill that we've got. That's not one that you would, um, that would be able to break the ground up very well on its own. So that would definitely be one that, that you would cultivate the land for first so let's just zoom in a little bit i'm wearing shorts i mean i've got dead black eyes there which is somewhat creepy but yeah i'm, I'm still wearing shorts we're enjoying the, the late summer late summer weather here september getting this cultivating done beautiful dry conditions you couldn't ask for better you could not ask for better. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to let him go up and turn around just to make sure that everything is all tickety-boo. Once he's done that. Just a few seconds. John Deere 6300. I think this one... See, if I had this tractor, I would actually prefer one with Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.